The Bugatti Type 57S is the last of the Super Sport Series road cars built by Bugatti. One misconception of the Type 57S is what its relation is to the Type 57. A Type 57 is a fairly high production standard road car Bugatti built in this period, both in normally aspirated and supercharged form. But there is very little shared between a Type 57S and a Type 57, other than the name. And the name, I believe, was primarily used as a way to homologate these cars, because they would never make enough of these cars to make them eligible for a lot of sports car racing of the period. But the differences include a completely different frame, different axles, Steering is different. Aside from just the basic block of the motor, the iron block, there's almost no parts interchanged between a 57 and a 57S. In the case of the 57S, the S does not refer to supercharge or sport. It refers to the French word for low or surveys. And that's what a Type 57S is all about, is low. By starting with an extremely low chassis design, they were able to dramatically lower the center of gravity of this car and had to go to extreme measures to do this. As a result, the most striking difference visually between a 57 and a 57S is, of course, the radiator. Commissioned by Bugatti for and appears in their sales catalog for the Type 57S. The car was built on spec with a commission by Van Empla, prominent British coach builder of the time, and a car that through its design would be eligible for a variety of different sports car racing. It is a wonderful car to drive with very comfortable driving position and not at all compromised by the good looking bodywork. And to drive these cars is a great experience. I mean, these are truly one of the great high performance cars of the pre-war era and they've always been regarded as that. The motor is quite large for the time. It's 3.3 liters, supercharged. It makes about 200 horsepower. The car is very light, very lightweight aluminum coachwork. This car is fast by modern standards fast. I mean, this car really moves. And the low chassis with the wonderful handling, huge brakes. I mean, these were an all around wonderful car. They were very well developed and highly engineered. You know, it's the last great road car Bugatti built. A particular significance to us here is that this is the only Bugatti Type 57S that ever came to the US when it was new. When it was exhibited at the Vanderbilt races, it's the only car that has that American connection. It is a matching numbers, original bodied, open Type 57S with unique Van der Plaats sports touring coachwork with American history. It's about as good as it gets for a Bugatti, especially with the history, the originality of this car, and the looks and the incredible driving performance that these cars have.